So from a menu perspective for the Pixel King, you simply uh, control the Pixel Kings through the flash control menu. I've got a Canon 7D uh, here. So if I go into the flash control and you go down to the external flash function setting, you're going to see that it starts off in TTL mode. It defaults to high speed shutter. Uh, you get the standard uh, flash exposure uh, balance uh, bracketing and general flash exposure control so I can do a minus one or plus one on the flash and uh, zooming is auto and controlled also so um, very quick, uh, very easy to go ahead and take a picture of, uh, of something there and get my shot so if I want to now control those flashes um, beyond just the basics of uh, flash exposure compensation, which is all that you get to do inside um, or using TTL, so, you know, so I can just do minus one or plus one, but it, both flashes, in my case I'm using two flashes, are going to work together to create that exposure. If I need more control, then I'm going to go over to the flash modes, choose manual flash, and then go down to the wireless function and turn that on. So even though I'm not using the optical system built in by Canon, I'm now going to it's going to kind of expose additional um, menu controls. So flash firing group A plus B plus C means that they're all going to fire at the same <coughs> strength, which is still useful. So here I've got them all firing at one eighth power. But if I want to control them, I can choose. Uh, ratio A to B or A, A to B and C. So I only have two flashes, so I'll choose A to B here. And so this is one of the quirky things that I find happens with the Pixel King. So you notice that the menu is kind of missing the options. And if I go back out and then go back in, I get more options. So now I've got the A to B, and now you see that both group A and B are selectable and had I cho chosen A to B and C, then I would have had all three. So now I can put one flash, say on a quarter power. There you go again, you see that it's lost it, so I'll go back in. So I don't know if it's particular to my model here, but it does happen fairly frequently. It's, oh, there we go. This menu cannot be displayed. So I'm not sure, this is probably my biggest pet peeve so far, but you are able to get around it. So that's what I wanted to show you. Set one on a quarter power and one on half power. But um, I don't know if it's the communication between the Pixel King and the sh then the, uh, the hot shoe on the Canon. It seems to be a little flaky uh, and obviously it's non-standard relative to Canon gear. But you know, if I did that all again I don't know that it would it would give me such issues. So let me try and drop the power here to sixteenth. See, that was fine this time. Drop this one down to 16th. No issues, go up. So, other than those kind of, uh, kind of freaky menu issues, which can all be resolved by exiting back out and going back in, uh, the Pixel Kings pretty much do what I asked them to do. And uh, again, no ratio control under TTL, but being able to go in and say manual flash and then be able to control these even when the flash is on the other side of the room is just a great benefit and you just can't do that with basic radio trigger triggers you would have to go to the flash units and change it on the back of the flash i hope that helps thanks